it's time to get down to bismuth. It's bismuth time. I hate to be at the bismuth end of this bismuth. We're really going to give you the bismuth on this one. You know what? You should mind your own bismuth. Or actually, while you're at it, mind our own bismuth. Hello everyone, my name is Jackie and I'm an Exhibits Experience Lead here at the Fleet Science Center. I'm outside of Studio X, which is our maker space here, and I'm bringing you probably the most dangerous thing that we do at the studio. Uh, just about all of the products that we do in Studio X are things that you can do at home with materials that you find around the house. You may have seen some of the other videos that we're doing. Uh, this is not one of those videos. It uses molten metal that's going to be over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really, really Really, really hot. You do not want to mess around with this, okay? Unless you're a trained professional. And you're probably not a trained professional, right? Yeah, didn't think so. Now, to get started, I have to melt this bismuth. And I was talking about how it's going to be over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Bismuth melts at 520.5 Fahrenheit. That's 520 and a half degrees. That's crazy hot. It's not actually that hot compared to metals. There's some metals that only melt in the thousands of degrees. So this metal actually melts at a low temperature compared to other metals, but it's still pretty hot. So we can actually melt it on this hot plate that, that I have here. Um, and it's gonna go by fairly slow because it is metal that has to turn liquid. So I'm actually gonna use a time lapse to help you see that happen. It's gonna go by really quick, whereas it'll probably take about 45 minutes maybe to get all this stuff melted down. Now the next step that has to happen is I have to take this molten bismuth and put it into a new container for it to cool down and create some crystals. Now as the bismuth cools down, the molecules are going to organize themselves into these kind of cool stair-step pattern crystals. Really, really cool to look at. Also when they are exposed to the air, the oxygen in the air will cause those bismuth crystals to oxidize. Uh, if you've ever seen iron that's been left outside or maybe in the rain, you'll see that it turns this kind of reddish color sort of powdery. Uh, that's rust, and that is when iron oxidizes. So when bismuth oxidizes, it stays shiny, and it kind of has this cool yellow, purple, blue in spots kind of um, color to it. Really, really, really cool. But we have to actually get it to cool down first so that it'll solidify. Now our bismuth is just about ready to be poured out so we can see uh, what crystals we may have grown inside. Uh, this is also one of the most dangerous parts because you're tipping a container of molten metal over with these tongs. It's a lot harder to tip over than just the pan with the handle. Um, so I'm going to go really slowly and make sure that I take a lot of care uh, to not cause any damage to myself or to this lovely table. All right, now that we have our uh, bismuth crystal geode, we have this kind of hollow inside area inside of our almost cup that we made out of bismuth, the inside has grown some really cool crystals uh, that you should be able to see uh, in the video right here. I'm going to kind of shine a flashlight in there so you can see the crystals inside. And in a moment, I'm going to cut uh, the top off so you can kind of see more easily what's inside of our geode. And so you can see there's all these wonderful crystals. Uh, they're all kind of grown in from the sides. They're all these cool different colors. And that's how bismuth grows. Those crystals make that cool uh, square shape with little stair steps. And there's almost like an inside out pyramid. Really, really cool. And that's how we make bismuth crystals here at Studio X. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please share it with your family and your friends. I'm sure they would also love to see how bismuth crystals are made. Um, you can find our social media information down here at the bottom of this video. Uh, but until then, I'll just see you later.
and I'm saying dumb things now. Right, that was a really good one, and I just messed it up. Very, very, very hot. So you have to go with. And that's bismuth crystal. Bismuth crystals. Nope. That wasn't good. Uh, <laughs>